What's up guys, welcome back to LSJ TV. If you've been subscribed to the channel for a long time now, then this will be a familiar background to you guys. But if you've subscribed to me while I've been at university, this is my home gym, so welcome to my home gym guys. I film in here a fair bit when I'm here over Christmas, when I'm here over summer, everything else. And it is actually my favorite place to film and I can film a favorite, my favorite type of video and that is a walkthrough for you guys. That's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna be filming a chest workout for you guys. We're gonna hit some flat bench press, some seated cable rows, incline dumbbell press, lat pull down, chest flies, the lot guys. We've got some shoulders in there as well. Because if you've been following the channel for a long time now, you know I don't just train chest, I train upper body but have a chest emphasis. So with that said guys, let's get right into the video. Warming up guys, just pushing, pumping the blood to the right muscles. As you know, we're training chest but upper body. So we're gonna really pump the blood into the entire upper body. And only when I feel ready, and you only know that yourself in your head, we'll get straight into the workout. Controlling those reps, nice and slow. Really training that mind to muscle connection before we get into the working sets. Right guys, so if you've been subscribed to the channel for a while now, you know that I don't like to jump straight in to the working sets. I do an in-between set with a sort of moderately heavy weight. So what I'm doing now is putting 10 kilos on each side of the bar. I'm just gonna do a steady set of eight, and then we'll get into the heavy sets. Again, nice and controlled, pausing, pushing, pause. Here we go guys, warm up routine, three sets of eight reps. What you'll notice guys, is that I composed myself before the last rep. That's just to help me mentally prepare for the last rep, because obviously that is going to be the toughest rep. If you pick your percentages right, you pick your weights right, you're going to struggle to get the last rep. You see I'm out of breath now. So that's how you know you pick the right weight to get that progressive overload and make as many gains as possible in a short amount of time as possible. things I love about training here guys is that you can do whatever you want this is my place this is my gym I can do the I can do what I want I can wear what I want I can act the way I want which means that I just feel much more comfortable when I'm training I can act the way I want I can dance if I want to I can sing I can do whatever release those positive endorphins in your body don't be afraid don't be afraid to do that in public you see you see me in the, in the gym at uni I'm just dancing along like this coming along got my headphones in, doing what I want, doing my thing. Because that is my time in the gym, that's my time to enjoy. That is your time away from away from all the shit, away from all the stresses in life. That is, what, that is the time for you to do what you want. So just enjoy yourself, forget about everything else. The gym is a positive thing, the gym is an enjoyable thing. Make the most of it, guys. One, two, three. Right, guys, so the next movement is the seated cable row. Putting my thumbs on the top, taking the forearms and the, and the biceps out of it, really focusing on pulling from the elbow, focusing on a contraction in the back. Let's go. As always, one, two, pause at the top, controlling on the negative. Keeping that chest upright, those shoulders back, the perfect form to break as many muscle fibers down as possible. Again, pulling from the elbows, one, two, slow release on the negative, one, two, ah. Set one, the next exercise, going back to chest, we're doing incline, dumbbell, 
bench press. Get set, pause at the bottom to break those muscle fibers down as much as possible. Let's go. On. Pause, one, two, two. One, two, three. Try not to flare those elbows out too much, guys. You'll have to find a comfortable distance for you without going too narrow or without going too far. And that will come with expert training, with ex experience, sorry. So the more you get in the gym, the more you'll find that comfort spot that's comfortable for you. Again, keeping that intensity high. 60 second rest, then we've got two more sets. Moving on to three sets of lat pull down. So usual form applies, pulling from the elbows, pinching the lats, squeezing one, two, and then releasing on the negative. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. If you're having to jolt to get the weight down, if you're having to shrug, anything like that, just a nice controlled movement to allow that extra range of movement. Right, so the next movement is my favorite of all time, cable chest flies, guys. You want this, personally I have this just above, uh, just above shoulder height, sometimes you can do underarm, some people like to come from really high up, but personally, in terms of shoulder mobility and uh, just general comfort, then this is the best position to have it in. So first of all, just get yourself set, ready to go. I like to bring it back to about here, guys, because if I come any further back, then I start to put some strain on my shoulders, and the movement just becomes uncomfortable. So like I said earlier with the incline bench press, just gotta find that sweet spot and go back as far as feels comfortable for you until you can feel the strain and then power into the movement. Three sets, eight reps. Three, Next movement, as I just said before, is rear delt flies. So we're using the machine for this, getting in a nice comfortable position. I personally like to put my hand on my chest, just so I know that I'm keeping nice and square and keeping the focus on the rear delt. You don't want to come too far across, because then you start to bring in a load of other muscles. You want to bring it to about halfway across your chest, just until you can feel the stretch in the rear delt, and then bring it back across. Hold in for one, two seconds, and then bring it back down. Just the freedom. Right guys, so next up is supersetting because it's getting late, we're gonna superset biceps and triceps. So first we're doing a uh, tricep push down here with the rope. You can do this with uh, attachments like this. Uh, tricep V bar, there's anything. You can do it with a straight bar, anything uh, that's, that's gonna allow you to push straight down. But personal preference, I prefer to do it most with a rope. So here we go. We're gonna do eight to 10 reps and then we're gonna superset that with bicep curls. Nice and controlled with the elbow, keeping that lock to the side. As you can see, my elbow's not moving like this. We're keeping it nice, nice and controlled, nice and locked to the side, so we can focus on pushing from the elbow, keeping the entire movement on the tricep. Holding for two, controlling on the negative. So here we go guys, super setting with bicep curls. Again, you really wanna focus on that nice control, contraction, keeping that elbow locked to the side, and then curling to the top. So 
squeeze. Really getting that squeeze. The mind to muscle connection is the most important thing in my opinion for a bicep curl. One, two, controlling on the native. Don't just let it fall like that guys. You want to really control that to break those muscle fibers down and make those bicep gains that everybody wants. Right, last set guys, last super set, last exercise of the day. Let's keep that form nice and solid, keep that effort, keep that stamina going all the way until the end of the workout guys. 10 reps of each, let's go. Three. One. That is going to conclude today's video guys, thank you so much for watching if you made it this far, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like if you want me to do more walkthroughs, individual exercise videos then let me know in the comments section, let me know by leaving a like guys, comment, subscribe, share the video, thanks a lot for watching guys, remember no regrets, I'll see you guys in the next video.